What's up guys? Trader here with Raider Studio and uh, today I purchased something pretty cool. I was really excited to get it and uh, well here it is. I got my own DJI Osmo Plus. Now if you don't know the difference between the Plus and the normal Osmo is the Plus actually has a, a three and a half times optical zoom and a two times digital zoom. So anyways, so far it's all I can tell the difference. Now, I never had a regular Osmo so I did some research and I bought this one. So, anyways, uh, this is not a review on the Osmo itself. This is, a, this is a review on the setup. I almost did an unboxing review, but there's so many out there. I figured if you guys really wanted to see an unboxing of it, either you go buy one and open the damn thing yourself, or you would just find the review on it. But if you're watching this, this is a review on how to connect your Osmo to your phone. Now, it sounds simple enough, right? But let me tell you, it was a pain in the ass, and I'm going to tell you why. Um, first of all, I have the Note 3. It's pretty tough getting the, the big Note in here. you got to stretch this thing to its max, basically, but it fits. And it fits pretty good. What, what you do first is you open the damn box, and you're super excited just to throw the battery in and take off running, right? No. Battery's completely dead. And if you read the instructions, it says completely charge the battery 100% before you use it. So I had to wait two hours, two hours to get the battery going. The light was coming down. Like right now it's uh, seven o'clock at night. The light was just, the sun was setting and it was beautiful. As soon as that green light on the charger lit up falls, like, yes, let's grab it and go. It was perfect. It's a great time to film. So I thought this is the perfect chance to take the Osmo and run it through its paces outside with the perfect lighting, right? So quickly threw the phone on there. I had already downloaded the DJI Go app while I was waiting for this thing to friggin' charge for two hours. So I thought it'd be simple. Just turn it on, hit the DJI Go app, and go, right? <laughs> no. So what you gotta do is you gotta turn the Osmo on, and you gotta hit the app. So then it's gonna tell you to connect the Wi-Fi settings. Okay, so you gotta back out of the app, go to your Wi-Fi settings, and connect to the Osmo. Now the Osmo has to be on in order for your phone to read the Wi-Fi so you can connect to it. Okay, step one, good to go. Then it's gonna connect real quick, it's gonna show you, like, oh, congratulations, now you have to register the thing. And you get like a free one year service plan or something if you connect in and register, so okay, whatever. So it tells you to go ahead and, uh, and so I want you to register your device. All right, no big deal. Now remember, your Wi-Fi on your phone is connected to the Osmo. So in order to register, you have to connect either out of the Wi-Fi and use your data or connect to your home Wi-Fi or whatever Wi-Fi you're around to do the register. So click back out, go to Wi-Fi settings, unconnect from Osmo, connect to my home Wi-Fi, log back in, now I can register. Awesome. So you do the registration real quick and then it says connect to the Osmo. Nice. So back back out, go back to Wi-Fi, go to settings, disconnect from my home Wi-Fi, reconnect to the Osmo Wi-Fi, and go back to the app, right? Sounds pretty simple, but guess what? Now it needs an update. It needs a software update or a firmware update. Okay, update. Can't. You gotta log back, <laughs> go to Wi-Fi, disconnect from the Osmo, connect back to your home Wi-Fi, open the app up again, and then start the download. And it downloads pretty decently quick. All right, then it tells you to reconnect to the Osmo. Back back out, go to settings, go to Wi-Fi, disconnect from your home Wi-Fi, connect back to the Osmo. And then it says, congratulations, download it complete. Now we must upgrade, update the software. So then you hit go ahead and go, and it takes 30 minutes. 30 minutes just to do the software update. 30 minutes, like that's almost your full battery. So you basically charge the battery for two hours just so you can spend 45 minutes connecting this thing but I got it connected. By the time I got it connected and it started working, it was really dark outside. So here's some footage that I shot real quick just running outside my house. I didn't do a whole lot. I just really wanted to test it. 
Very first time ever operating one of these. You would think it'd be simple, just pull it out of the box, slap the battery in it, put your phone on it, connect it real quick and start osmoing, right? You got your three axis gimbaling going on here. No, literally takes forever to connect the app to the Osmo. But now that it's connected, should be able to just on. I think I gotta go to settings. See if you can see this. You can hear it beeping. So you can see all the lights are on now. Apps, settings, Wi-Fi. Where's the Osmo? It's scanning for it. There it is. Connect. Oh, you probably can't even see that. Anyways, it's connecting. Okay, back, back out. Home screen. Tap DJI. So now you got to unlock it. 90 different ways. And there we go. Selfie mode. So now it works. So anyways, it's pretty cool and I can't wait to really get in and start messing with this thing. So there's all kinds of settings in here that I don't know. I got to read up on them and uh, try to figure it out. But I, I got the, there's you guys. I got the logist of them down so far, but I want to be able to change. Like it shoots in 4K right now. I don't really want to shoot in 4K all the time. Oh, I took the SD card out, so I can't even record. But anyways, so I'm gonna get I'm gonna get to the bottom of this thing, see what I can do. But uh, so far, after the setup, after the pain in the ass setup, now it's gonna be cool. Now I'm gonna be able to shoot some really cool, smooth, three-axis gimbal. Oh, it's kind of doesn't like going that way too much. You can hear the you can hear those fans blown. So I did. I got some accessories coming. I got the straight arm that attaches out. Then you can attach a, a bracket that holds some cold shoes, and then the phone attaches to the back side of that. And then I got the mount that you can connect this to a tripod. Because one of the really cool things about this that I really wanted to do, you can do face detection somehow. And then I saw a video of it where you can put this on a tripod. Did you see that? That just happened. This phone, by the way, has never been outside of a, out of, out of a case since the day I got it. It wouldn't fit the case. So I had to take the case off of it and that just popped out. Wow. First time this phone has ever hit the deck. Now I guess you get to watch me try to put this thing back in. So I guess if you hold it this way, it's not that bad. You're struggling like a little girl just to make it make it more difficult. Don't fall out. So you can leave this on a tripod and walk around and it will follow you. So I really want to do that. So I got the tripod thing and then it's, I, I already have a car mount that went with one of my action cams. So, but it's really cool because that car mount or that tripod mount actually mounts to my tripod. Yeah. Let me try this again. So that tripod mount actually mounts to my car mount so I can slap this thing on the side of my truck and get some cool video. Anyways, I'm going to keep playing with this thing. Uh, if you guys really want one, you should check it out. Cool. Autofocus. Anyways, yeah, I suggest get one. Play around with it. I've seen some amazing footage that these things can shoot, so I really can't wait. Okay, it has autofocus, but that thing is loud. If you're trying to autofocus while recording, I hope it doesn't make that noise. Anyways, I'm going to keep playing. I really like the video quality. It's shooting 4K. This thing is awesome! It's also a pain in the ass to set up.